Maureen, we wanted to, the, uh, to discuss the state still too close to call right now. Yeah, and there are a few this morning. We're still waiting on some really key states like Pennsylvania to be called and to truly get a better picture of who our next president will be. So joining us now to break all of that down is NBC's Tracy Potts. Tracy, thanks so much for joining us. And I want to get to this because the president hinted in his speech that this election could wind up in the Supreme Court. Is that likely? And then what's the scenario there? Well, he can certainly always mount a challenge, Maureen, but what the president said was he thinks there are votes that were cast after the polls closed, votes that, as he put it, might be found that are being counted. That would not be legal, but that's not what's happening. The vote counting are people who were in line when the polls closed. That is legal. And mail ballots that were mailed by Election Day that may arrive later. That is also legal. The president has objected to that and is now hinting, particularly in Pennsylvania, where they were counting late into the night, um, that some of those votes might not be valid. And that's the basis of his challenge. But again, we have absolutely no indication that any of these states are counting votes that are illegal that were cast after their polls closed. And Tracy, I mean, as we're watching this come in, we are seeing some states that are so neck and neck. What are the chances of, of yeah. one of the candidates calling for a recount in somewhere like Pennsylvania or Wisconsin or Georgia, where it is so tight? Yeah, so the rules are different in different places. Let's talk about Pennsylvania, because it really has become a flashpoint of this election, Maureen. So in Pennsylvania, the rule is if the vote is within half a percent of the total number of votes cast, there is an automatic recount. In some states, it's one percent. In other states, you have to ask for a recount. So it depends on what the rule is in that state. And I can tell you, in Pennsylvania, they stopped voting in some of the western counties overnight, so they were picking back up again at 10 this morning. In Georgia, which had traditionally been a red state and now is possibly poised to flip to a blue state, that we saw those long lines during early voting. That is why it's so critical uh, for them to get that vote count right. They actually had a water main break this morning uh, or late last night or early this morning that delayed some of the counting, but we're told that counting continues. All right, Tracy, thank you so much for clearing a lot of that up. These are things that we're going to be watching over the next several hours and possibly days. Thank you. We'll be checking in with you.